Hello folks, this is a short tutorial on how to import Vroid models into Blender and exporting those models into games. Those are going to be the topics that I'm going to be covering today, setting up the Blender add-ons to allow you to import the Vroid models and also showing you how to export these models into game engines and games. The topics I'm not going to cover today include animation modeling, audio and lip syncing, and materials and lighting. However, the tools we're going to be installing into Blender today will help you do all of these tasks. Vroid Studio that I'm currently using only use a file format called Vroid. But when you export the models, they're called a .vrm. That's from the previous versions before version 1.0. And you can import these .vrm into Blender. And from Blender, you can export them as FBX or GLB into VRChat or Game Engine. However, you can't import these .vrm files into Vroid Studio anymore. So as for the setup, these are the current versions of the tools that I'm going to be using today. When you go to set these up, please read the release notes for each of these add-ons and tools as they may have changed. For the most part, it should be pretty stable now, especially for Vroid Studio and Blender. You can download it on Steam, Windows, or Mac OS. Current version that I'm using in this tutorial is version 1.13 Blender. You can download on the Blender website or on Steam as well. And the current version I'm going to be using for the tutorial is version 3.3. For the Cats Blender plugin, version 0.19.0. .0. To get the plugin itself, you're going to go to releases here. Click on it, grab the latest one, grab this zip file, and you don't want to unzip it. Additionally, we want this VRM add-on for Blender, and we're going to repeat the same process. We're going to go to releases, we're going to find the latest one, and we're going to download the zip file. Let's install the Blender plugin. So first you're going to go to edit preferences. Then you're going to go to add-ons. And here I already have the add-on installed. So we'll click on install, find where you have installed your Blender plugins. Just select the add-on, click install add-on, and then find it and enable it. Now that we've set things up, let's import the Vroid models into Blender. Now that we've installed Vroid Studio, let's create a model. If you want to follow along, simply select avatar sample B. I've already loaded the avatar here into a test file. Now, if we want to save the file as a .vroid for later editing, we need to go into this left-hand menu and click save or save as. However, right now we want to export the model. So we go to this export icon, we click it and select export as VRM. Here we have some operations to reduce the polygons, the materials and bones. You can adjust those. However, I'm just going to select export and filling in the avatar information information as necessary and click on export. This will open up a menu for you to show where you want to save the file and you just save the file. In Blender, we want to clear the scene so that when we import our model and then export our model, there aren't any extra assets. So to do that, we press A to select all, X to delete, and then enter to confirm. Now we can import our model. We can do that by going to file, import VRM. A file dialog will open up and then you'll need to find your character. Now that the character has been loaded in, press A, then period or full stop. Now we can see our character. Now let's select the material preview, which is the third one from the left. And now we can see the materials for our character. Now for exporting to games and game engines, we can export our character to our target platform. So we can do that by going to file, export, and then FBX or GLTF 2.0. When you go to export these models, make sure to match the target environment you have. So for example, making sure that the forward and up align with whatever platform for example, Unity. Unity has a different forward and up, if I recall, from Blender. So make sure that that is corrected for. For troubleshooting, make sure you back up your models. Things might cause you to lose your model. So back it up. Don't cause yourself a lot of headache. 
If you have models from Vroid Studio prior to version 1.0, your files may be a different file type .vrm, and it can't be edited in the current versions of Vroid Studio. So you'll need to find a version of Vroid Studio that supports converting a .vrm to Vroid. Either that or just work in Blender. This process that I'm showing you does not preserve the animations you have assigned to your Vroid model in Vroid Studio. There will be other ways of animating your character, such as Mixamo. The default materials have light information in your Vroid characters once you import them into Blender. They're not going to react properly to Blender lighting as the material itself is considered a light source. I wanted to also highlight an article which includes some of the differences between the beta and the stable versions of Vroid Studio. So feel free to have a look at that. Here's an article on the Vroid Studio website explaining Vroid files that you downloaded from Vroid Hub or that you exported from Vroid Studio cannot be loaded into Vroid Studio again because the files that are edited in Vroid Studio are .vroid files. So the alternative would be actually using Blender. Vroid still hosts the Vroy Studio beta releases on their website. So if you need them for any reason, you can access them. Thanks, and if you need any more help, I'll try to do the best I can. There will be links in the description for resources. Please feel free to ask me. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible, and feel free to help each other. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye.